Aishwarya Ajit and you're watching 101 Great Places to Eat Out in the UAE. Shabistan at the Radisson Blue Dera Creek is a 25-year-old Persian restaurant. So much like myself who's a Dubai kid, this place has witnessed the evolution of Dubai. It has remained locked in time but is still refreshing as ever. So join me today as I sample some of the best culinary offerings from Persia. So here's a fun fact. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, is a regular here at Shabistan. And one man who has proudly hosted the members of the royal family is stood right next to me, Uwe Mikhail, the director of kitchens at the Radisson Blue for the last 23 years. Now, wow, that is something. Chef, I want to know a little bit about the restaurant. It is extremely traditional and authentic. Do you think that's why it has stood the test of time? Yes, I think the, the key reason is uh, because we do exactly this, uh, the difference, the opposite of what the city of Dubai is doing. Uh, Dubai is changing. Uh, the restaurant, we keep the traditions, we keep the recipes, we keep the same way of preparation. Uh, majority of the kitchen team is with me since 20 years. Um, so we do it exactly the same like we did 20 years ago and this is why the customer come back and they get the same thing every time they come. And obvious, uh, very much a key point is also the quality of ingredients you buy. Fantastic, Chef. Now since this restaurant has been around for 25 years, I'm sure the food is absolutely the best. So I'm not going to waste more of your time, I'm going to let you get to the kitchen and surprise me. Well do, <laughs> look forward. Starter today is a warm appetizer, which is Kashke Badimjan and Burani, which is actually two different appetizers. One is uh, Kashke Badimjan, is uh, eggplant cooked together uh, with, with lamb meat, and then we make a puree out of it. And then put Kashke, which, which is a kind of sour cream on top, and the spinach is uh, fresh spinach, just sort this with garlic and onions, and, and then uh, garnish. That's the salt. Very simple, eating with fresh, uh, fresh Iranian bread, which comes just before, before we eat it comes fresh out of the tandoor oven and that together, simple but delicious. So we have two entrees right here. The first one is Kashke Badam Jan, which is a beautiful mix of eggplant, lamb and mint sauce. I'm going to try a bit of that. Mm. Rich really tasty and rich. Traditionally, this is had with an Iranian bread, but I'm just going to get straight stuck into it. And we have another entree. The chef has really decided to spoil me. This one is called Nargisi. It's a very similar preparation to the Kashke Badam Jan, but here the main ingredient is spinach. Let's try this. Mm. Honestly, they're both so delicious, but if I was to pick a favorite, um, I would say it's the Kashke Badam Jan. Our main course is uh, the Shabastan grill platter. Uh, to start off with the, the kubiri kebab, which is a minced, uh, is minced lamb uh, with, with, with onion juice as, as a main key ingredient. And we put it on a, on a, on a sear, with, with, we use a good hand for that. And then it's grilled uh, on, on pure charcoal. And uh, to complement it with, with Jojo, with his baby chicken, with uh, shrimps and fish, which are all marinated with yogurt and, and saffron. So after the delicious round of entrees, it's time for main course and I've just been brought three kinds of rice and five kinds of kebabs. There's so much food, enough to feed a country. So I'm going to start with my favourites, which is the kubide, a classic Iranian kebab. Mm. Wow! I can see why this is a hot favourite because it's got just the right amount of spices. It's not very spicy. At the same time, it tastes very rich. And the fun part is that it's very healthy because it is all grilled.
after that delicious Persian feast, all I can say is that the old adage, old is gold, even though it sounds a bit cheesy, truly comes to life at Shabistan. So if you enjoy traditional aromatic flavors and the Persian hospitality, then make sure this place is in your Dubai bucket list.